Welcome back to the channel guys. Today we're going to talk about how to do backgrounds a lot easier than we did before. I'm going to teach you how to do backgrounds using the Nest Screen tool. This thing is awesome. Let's get into it. Like and subscribe and hit the bell so you know when we go live. So if you remember back in the first video, when we looked at backgrounds, I showed you how to hard code each and every tile, line by line, row by row, for the screen, and then also the attributes, which are the color palette, you know, assignments to each of the two by two sections. So <laughs> the hard part is you can't really see this until you assemble it. Then you look at the title screen, you're like, wait a minute, this doesn't look right. So the Nest Screen tool changes that. You can actually see it visually and it makes it so much easier. It's just, uh, it's a game changer. So let me show you how to do this. Okay, so after you've gone through about 10 erasers <laughs> and you've gotten the background to look exactly how you want it to look and uh, you've broken out all your tiles, you can either create your pattern here in the Nest Screen tool uh, under Patterns uh, and create them here or you can just import a pattern already from, you know, a char file from YYchar or some other program. So when you first import it, you'll see that the pattern table selected on the bottom, well, middle right over there, you'll see pattern table A, and that's your sprite table. When you select pattern table B, you'll see all of your uh, tiles for the background. And the default tile it fills out will be tile one. And so now what you gotta do is either reference your, um, your planning sheet or reference your, um, if you already hard coded it, which is what I'm gonna do, reference your DB rows that you've hard coded in there and start to build your screen. Now, if you remember the tile number is what is, you know, uh, being coded. So when it says $1.25 uh, or $1.28 or $1.10 or whatever, that correlates to the tile number. And if you do a rollover on the tiles, you'll see on the bottom, uh, that's how you get the tile number. So what I'm going to do is just look at each row and I'm going to select the tile and I'm going to place it there. So you click on the tile with your left mouse uh, and then you left mouse click where you want it to go. And you can just hold the mouse button if it's for a whole row and just drag your mouse across, you know, and do what you want. There's a lot of shortcuts in Nest Screen Tool and I highly recommend you read through the README uh, that can really help you out. OK, so I'm going to start, I guess, building this, you know, title screen for you. So let's go ahead and fast forward this, you know, two or three times. But what I'm doing is I'm going through each row and I'm checking it once in a while, uh, you know, just to make sure that it looks right.
Now, once we're done and the screen is built and it looks right, you can start assigning colors. And the palettes on the bottom are how you do that. And that's up to you what colors you pick and all of that. But basically, the palettes uh, you can save in the name table when you export this. So what you're going to do is click on name table and you're going to do save as binary and make sure that the uh, attributes are checked so that it keeps it in there. Okay. Uh, if you want to, you can hard code your attributes in the file uh, like I did, you know, or however you want to do it. The point is it gives you that option. Go ahead and save it as a name table um, in your uh, screen folder or wherever you want to put it, uh, char folder. And once you're done, what we're going to do is go back to the code now and we're going to change it so that we don't use all these hard coded values. All we're going to do is reference the file and all you need is an ink bin, a dot ink bin. Um, well, I'm using Nesasm 3. So if you're using something else, I'm not sure if it's the same, but anyway, for Nesasm 3, it's ink bin, dot ink bin. So that includes the binary and you put a space double quote and then just a path to the file and that's it. And we'll recompile and check to make sure it works. Boom. Looks good. As you can tell, I love the Nest Screen tool. This thing is saving me so much time. I really like how you can literally see it right there on the screen as you're making it. You can change the colors. You can export the colors. Uh, the loop doesn't actually change. The loop is all the same. It's doing the same thing. It's just referencing a file instead of hard-coded DB values, data byte values. So you don't have to change any of your code except for the actual tiles and just do a quick include. Um, but I love how it lets you just see uh, the tiles immediately and building the screen is not like, okay, I got to reassemble. Let me see what it looks like. Nope, it's wrong. Fix it. Try and reassemble it again. Nope, it's still off by one pixel and forget all that. Uh, that's what I love about the tool. So I highly recommend using it. Uh, if you guys are using other tools or, you know, if there's a better way to do it, let me know. As I said, I'm still learning this. This is all brand new to me. So I would really be interested in knowing what you guys are using or if you've learned other ways to use the Nest Screen tool in a better way. Uh, for now, I'm using it for my title screen and I'll be using it for my, you know, other levels. So um, in the next video, we're going to be doing uh, game states. So I figured out how to do game states. So I'm going to show you how to do it and implement it so that you can actually go from the title screen over to level one when you hit the start button. So anyway, guys, thanks for watching and I will catch you on the next one. See ya.